Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here. All right, so I've had several uh, people ask me uh, which weather component I use. Of course, with Home Assistant, there's a, a lot of different weather components to choose from, and uh, you know, a lot of them offer different things. Uh, so basically, uh, let me tell you about the one I use, which of course is Dark Sky. I do think it's the most popular uh, weather component out there. Uh, the reasons I like it are one, it has all kinds of sensors that uh, have pull in all kinds of data, um, and it's all free. I think you get like a thousand pulls a day, uh, which I think the most I've ever hit, I think on a, any day is like seven, seven or eight hundred, something like that. So uh, I also think it is the uh, weather component that you have to use for HA dashboard. Uh, I'm not sure if that's still the case or not, but uh, nonetheless. I like dark sky weather. Um, I think the uh, component has a, a lot to offer, and I definitely think it is the best choice uh, for Home Assistant. So I'm going to show you guys how to uh, set it up in Home Assistant. Let's get started. First things first, you have to basically set up a developer account or register with uh, dark sky to get your API key. Uh, you'll have to have this in order to pull data from their site. So here is the login page. I'll put the link down in the description below. Once you get your account set up, this is what it'll look like. Uh, it provides you with a secret uh, key or API key. This is what you're going to use. So you want to copy that. You're going to save it uh, and use in your configuration for setting up the uh, component. So once we have all that, we're going to move over to the command line, edit our configuration.yaml file. I keep all my sensors in a uh, sensor.yaml file, so we're going to edit that, sudo vi sensor.yaml. I'm just going to find an open spot here, let's just... Uh, We'll drop down right here, add in a new platform, this will be dark, uh, dark sky. And this is where you're going to put the API key that you got when you registered your account. Uh, paste that in there. Monitored conditions. This is kind of uh, where you list out all the sensors that you want to use. Um, I will put a link down in the uh, description uh, that uh, links to the Home Assistant components page for this that has a whole bunch of them listed out there. I'm just going to add some in here and I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this just so you don't have to sit here and wait for me to type all these in. All right, so I've got all those added in there. Go ahead and save that. That's all I need in this uh, configuration file. Now I want to I want to show you what some of these look like. So I'm going to edit my uh, my test view here, and I'm just going to add these in so that I can show you what some of these sensors look like. I'll go ahead and fast forward th through this. Uh, you don't need to see me add all these in here. All right, so got those added. We saved the file. We're going to go ahead and restart Home Assistant. Give that a second to come back up. Once it does, uh, we'll jump over to the web GUI and I'll kind of just give you an idea what those look like. All 
All right, so web GUI is up, and of course, this is what uh, some of those sensors will look like. So, uh, there's wind speed. I mean, uh, it is crazy all the different stuff that you can add here. Wind bearing. Anything that you can think of that has to do with weather, uh, looks like Dark Sky has a sensor for that. So, really cool. Um, that is it for this video. That is it for this video. Uh, again, guys, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. If there's any videos out there that you want to see that I don't already have uh, you know, coming down the pipeline, let me know, and I will get something put together for you guys. Please stay tuned because uh, I'm kind of linking some of these last few videos I've done. I'm going to link them all together basically to show you something really cool coming up with an automation and... Uh, weather radar all together so uh stay tuned for the next couple of weeks and see all the cool videos that i have coming out otherwise i'll see you guys around thanks